All right, so here's the deal. This is Rich Cook. Rich Cook was the first photographer I ever knew. Mm -hmm. He uh, introduced me to film photography. He introduced me to the Pentax 67, the Hasselblad 503, uh, Leica, I mean, <laughs> quite a few things, right? Yeah. Um, and so how long have you been a photographer? Um, almost <laughs> over 30 years. Okay, and how long did you use the Pentax 6-7? No one ever asked me it like that. All right. uh, I was introduced to the Pentax 6-7 in 1992. Most people it. watching this weren't born then. Uh, okay. But a gentleman by the name of Aaron Chang, I assisted for Aaron Chang. Great. He had it and that was when I started shooting with it. So this is the Pentax 6-7 and I have a little custom adapter on it, which is if you're blind like me and you can't see, it's great for focusing. But when I started using the Pentax 67, I stole Rich's for a year? A year. Okay. So he'd let me borrow the camera for oh, the weekend? Yeah, I let you borrow it for the weekend. Okay, good. And so I returned it a year later and I made some photos with this camera that were unlike any other photos I had ever made at that time. And I mean, you can attest to this, but the difference between 35 and 6.7, I mean... It's huge. Yeah, massive, it's... it's this These 6.7 cameras... More than three times. Right. They give you something different that no other camera really can give you. It's close to 4 by 5 in, yes. in size, right? Yep, big negative. Um, but the thing about them is they're old, and there's a lot of things about them you don't know. So how many times did I call you in the middle of the night and say, how do I do this? How do I do this? How do I? <laughs> Quite a few. Okay. Over a dozen. Okay, good. Hands and, down. And again, it's because there's not a lot of information on this camera. And so what we're gonna do now is, Rich here, who you're gonna start a YouTube channel very soon. Yes, I am. He's gonna show us one trick on the Pentax 67, which for me um, was something that came in handy and I've never seen anybody else on any of the YouTube videos I've ever seen tell me this trick. So take it away, okay. sir. So Tyler was doing a test and he was doing a test with his pro photo lighting and doing a shot and he said, hey, how do I test it? I can't, I can't seem to cock it, the shutter's not going. And it's, a, it's something that what you wanna do is you wanna put your finger, first off, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna open up the back, okay, right back here and put it open. The second thing you want to do, and we'll, there'll be a close shot here right now, is you want to put your finger right in here, right where, right where you're going to cock it. Now, the secret is that you leave it open, and you turn it past zero, and you close it. When you do that, it will now clip. It fires. It fires. It so if you're, trying, fires. if you're trying to test this camera, you know, to see if the lens will work, to see anything you want to do, that is the only way to get the camera to fire. Yep. And what I, and you know, when I, he was describing this to me, we were, I was on the phone with him and he's like, you press down on the thing and you turn it, but then you've got to do it. And I'm like, it's just not working. So, <laughs> yeah. um, yeah, I spent years just trying to get him to bring the six, seven back out, but now you're doing yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm shooting with it again. Okay, it's good. fun. It's an awesome camera. It's, I think it's so undervalued. You know, I don't know when you're watching this, but I can assure you a test that I think this camera is probably going to go up in value more than it's going to go down in value. Hi. <laughs> I thought I was out of frame. You were not out of frame. I just saw myself. <laughs> Rich is going to make a full video on yeah. this camera. Yep. You're going to do a whole Pentax 6-7 video. Yes, sir. Um, which hopefully will actually happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Yeah. I promise. And you're going to lay out kind of everything that yeah. this camera can do. We're going to talk about mirror lockup, we're going to talk about syncing, talk about leaf shutter. So it's a, it's a kick-ass camera.